Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we will talk about importing a PDF file into Microsoft Power BI in order to create such dynamic project dashboard. You can see the total cost of the project and we have the number of issues per month shown using an area chart. In here, we have the cost by month shown by a line chart. On the left here, we have the number of changes per month. From the drop-down list in here, we can select any month and we will see the results for that specific month. For example, let's go with July. As you can see, the amount of money spent in July, the number of issues in July, the cost in July, and the number of changes in July will be shown in here. If you go and select all the months, the information will be shown for all the months of the year. For your information, I have created this dashboard using this file, which is in PDF format. So let's get started and let me show you how to prepare such a dynamic dashboard using the data given in a PDF file. In order to get started, first of all, let's import the PDF file into Microsoft Power BI. To do that, click on Get Data. From here, I'll select More and I'll select PDF. Then, I'll click Connect and I'll select my file wherever it's located in my computer. Then click Open. From here, I'll select the table that I need in order to create the project's dashboard. So I will select this table before I load the data, I'll transform the data in order to make some corrections. So I'll click Transform. As you can see in here, the cost is given as a number. I'll convert this into cost. I'll click this. From here, I'll select Fixed Decimal Number. I'll add New Step in here. As you can see, these numbers will be converted into cost. All the others are OK. Next thing is, I'll click Close and Apply. On the right here, under the fields, I will have my table. First of all, I will insert a slicer in order to filter out the necessary data out all of the data. For this purpose, I will click the slicer in here. I will select names of the months for the slicer. From here, I will change it to a drop-down list. Next, I will insert a column chart for the number of changes. For this purpose, I will select the months and the number of changes. As you can see in here, I have the column chart for the number of changes in each month. The next type of chart that I will need is the line chart for cost in each month. So I'll select the line chart from here. For this line chart, I'll select the month name and I will select the cost. The last thing is to insert an area chart for our number of issues in each month. I'll select area chart and here I'll select the month name and I'll select the number of issues. The last thing in here is to insert the total cost of the project. So I'll click the card visual from here and for this one I'll select only the cost. Now if I go and select any of the months, the information will be filtered out for that specific month. For example, let's select February. As you can see, the total cost, the number of changes and the number of issues will be filtered out for the month February in here. I hope you like the content of the video. If they are useful in performing your daily project management tasks, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.